Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Many are finding it difficult to fit everything I say into time. My brothers, that's what I already told you, I'm not a storyteller, I'm going to stay here rummaging through the past. I just want to point out the great events that justify everything that exists today. So back to our classes. I have already told you that Gaia often took some drastic positions, to eliminate all the imbalance that was forming on her surface. Many ages have passed, eras of great changes on the planet, eras of great revolutions on the planet. So today I'm going to talk a little about Gaia. What is Gaia? Gaia. I already said here, is not flat, she is completely round, with its majority made up of water, which are its oceans, and a good part, or rather the remaining part, made up of earth. At the ends, a lot of ice. Why does Gaia have so much ice at its edges? Physically speaking, you know that the heat from the sun is stronger where the diameter of the planet is greater, and as it reaches the limit, the surface, temperatures decrease. When I say surface, I say, visualize the earth from the front, it is a ball so the most spherical part of this ball, the larger diameter, receives more light, and the top and bottom parts receive less light, because they receive the light in a different way. Then temperatures drop a lot very good. Your planet has volcanoes, and a lot of activity that comes from its interior. As you can see, Volcanoes are made of a hot substance, which comes from the interior of the earth, which brings all this heat from the interior of the earth, where its scientists came to the brilliant conclusion that the earth's interior is just lava, what you call lava, and which is a large furnace, where everything that is inside burns, and which from time to time, like an object with a lot of pressure, something has to come out so that the planet does not explode. Telling you that this is not at all a lie, is not at all wrong. There really is a lot of activity inside Gaia. Realize the following, you know up to a certain point. Everything that your scientists have discovered to date were assumptions, understandings of how far they managed to get. Very good. Let's say that physically speaking, Gaia is like that, with the oceans and continents, at the top of the ball and inside a large layer of hot lava. Let's keep this idea in her mind, no problem. It'll make a parallel. You have your physical body and you have an ethereal body, which is exactly the replica of your physical body. Likewise is Gaia. Gaia is the name of the spirit of this planet. Earth is the name given by you. The celestial name given by our father or mother God is Gaia. Very good. So, the earth also has its spirit, it also has its etheric body. I say to you that there is just a small, no, I wouldn't say small, I would say a big difference, between you and Gaia, because you receive in your physical body everything that comes from your spirits, from your soul. So all the imbalances that your soul brings over time are mirrored in your physical body, bringing illnesses. When I say that there is a big difference, it is because Gaia does not bring anything to the physical that was created by her etheric body. You have modified Gaia's physical body. The change did not come from the etheric to the physical. So everything that happens in Gaia is stronger in the physical body, not that it didn't reach the etheric, but it did, because so much suffering, so much destruction was imposed on Gaia that her etheric body ended up being affected. Many of you think that nothing is that big. If some of you could see your oceans at the bottom, you would understand what I'm talking about, because today the bottom of its oceans is just trash, garbage created by you, garbage that degraded over millennia and was deposited at the bottom of the oceans. The trash you see floating in your waters is nothing compared to what's down there. So today if we did the opposite job, cleaning the bottom upwards, you would no longer have oceans, you would only have mud. However, this is what will be done. When Gaia ascends, everything that is foreign to Gaia's body will be thrown out. 
Everything that Gaia understands was against her nature will be eliminated. So my brothers, a lot will still happen. What do you think, that you did what you did over so many years, and everything will go unpunished? Everything will, with the snap of a finger, everything go back to normal? So I can tell you that you will go through periods of great problems. Ah, but aren't we going to have help from beings to clean our planet? Yes, they will, but what do you think, that everything will be cleaned up in one day? That everything you did bad on Gaia will be fixed overnight? You're going to have to work a lot you're going to have to fix a lot of things. Yes, you will have help, but everyone will have to do their part. It won't be standing on the balcony, watching the movement outside. Each of you will have your part to do. Each of you will have your share to donate for Gaia. After all, you all live on it. You all use her resources. So nothing more fair than when Gaia needs you, everyone rolls up their sleeves and gets to work. Or do you think not? I hope that by now, you have already understood the importance of Gaia in your life, because I think many don't understand. I just ask you this, if today, at this exact moment, Gaia disappeared beneath her feet, what would happen to all of you? You would wander in space until your bodies succumbed. You would have nothing, they wouldn't have the floor, they would not have air, they would have no food, they would have no water, they would have nothing, that is, without Gaia you are nothing. So it's only fair that when she needs you most, you're ready to help. No, no this will not be a deal. Oh, can you help, no, 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 this will have to come from each one of you. Remember, you will still go through many tests, you will still go through many tests. Don't think that everything is heading towards ascension and what you've done so far is all right. Stop dreaming. You will have a lot of work ahead of you. Gaia is changing, little by little. Her entire etheric body was healed by all the energy that reached the planet. So now she is starting to bring this energy into the physical body. And that's what I said, everything that is out of balance for her, she will throw it away, she will expel it. So my brothers, be ready, because there is a lot of work ahead. Sitting, meditating, praying for Gaia is great, it's good, but what do you actually do for Gaia? What do you actually do to collaborate with Gaia? I would like each one of you, if you ask this question, and answer me, what do you actually do for Gaia? Then some will respond, ah, I save water, I don't throw trash in the wrong place, I don't harm Gaia's surface. Very good. This is nothing more than an obligation. You are not doing anything exceptional, this is what everyone should do. But what do you actually do for Gaia? Do you plant trees? Do you clean dirty places? Do you help keep places that need to be kept intact? What do you guys do? Anything. I'm not saying they are all, there are many here who are already reaching out to Gaia, and helping a lot. They will understand that what I'm saying is not for them. But the vast majority who are here listening to me now are realizing, yeah, I don't do anything. So it is. What do you guys do? Do you create a movement to clean something up? Do you create any movement to improve someone's life, in relation to Gaia? Do you raise awareness of any kind, so that people who harm Gaia can rethink their actions? What do you guys do? Actually what do you do? Think about this, if every thinking being on this planet planted a tree, what would Gaia be like today? Would it be deforested? Of course not. She would already be completely recovered. So what to do? There is a lot to do. So do it. Assume your posts. Don't wait for your rulers to take these actions because they won't. They are more concerned about destroying Gaia than conserving her. It's like that all over the world. The important thing is for cities to grow, no matter how much of Gaia will be hurt, 
how much of Gaia will be unbalanced, how much sewage and dirt will be released into the rivers and seas of Gaia. This doesn't matter. It matters that it will return money to their pockets. So what do you do? I'll leave you with this question. I would like you to think about it. You are still very still. That movement that I asked for, many are leaving aside. The procedure is over, so now I don't need to move any more. Interesting. You were healthy for a single month, from now on, everything has changed. My brothers, you do not live alone, you live in society. What is good for one is good for all, it's good for the whole. Don't think that if it's good for you, it's good for everyone, because it's not like that. It might be fine for you, but what about the rest? You are simply inert, totally without action. That's what I get tired of saying here, evolving is not praying all day, it is not meditating all day, it is not studying all the things that exist in the universe, all day. That is good? And? For whom? For you. This is a good attitude for one. And the rest? I'm trying to make you understand that the world is going to change, that no one can continue to think only of themselves. You have to think about the whole. There is no longer individualism. There is all. So let's get moving. Let's get organized. Let's do something. You don't understand what I'm saying. If acting alone is difficult, come together, get together. I'm sure that, little by little, the groups will increase, and you will be able to do a lot for each other, by Gaia, for a lot of things. But let's rise up my brothers. Is staying behind a desk planning good? Yes, planning from time to time is good, so as not to do too much nonsense, but just putting it on paper is no use either. You have to move. You have to get your hands dirty. Why don't you learn new things? Don't they invent new things that could be good for everyone? Try to get together. Get your ideas out, but do it. I repeat again, meditating, praying, studying all day is good for you, not for the whole, because only one is growing, and the whole? What happens to the all? Now if you tell me, no, I'm studying, but I pass, I review. Everything I study, I try to pass on to people. Ah, then things start to improve a little, because you are passing it on to the whole. Improved. There is already some action involved. So let's go. Gaia needs to feel, in the hearts of each of you, what you want to do for her, what are you doing for her, how you are helping Gaia. Do something. Don't just sit there and watch the television and say, yeah, that's interesting. Words in the wind, because you didn't get up to do anything. You found it interesting, you thought it was beautiful, and nothing. Ah, but what am I going to do? You don't need to do anything. There are many groups that are already working there, so get involved. Start there, learn and then create your own group, if applicable, or expand the one that is already underway. There's a lot going on, my brothers. Actually sitting on the couch or behind a desk, you will never know what it is. Just move. Do something. You still don't understand the real meaning of it all, the real sense that individualism is ending, that you will no longer live in a world thinking only about you, that everything will belong to everyone and that everything will only be implemented when it is good for everyone. So learn to think about the whole, not just on you. Do some awareness work, do some education work. Okay, if you don't want to go out on the street, but do something. Today you have the means of communication that help you in everything. Information is easily disseminated throughout the world. So let's fight. Shall we move? Let's do something. Are we going to be useful to Gaia? I think you guys have a lot to do. I don't need to say here what everyone is going to do. Think about what would be good for Gaia. 
think. Nothing happens if no one starts. Don't count on anyone's help. Count on yourselves. Start coming together. Learn to express ideas, learn to listen to others, learn that your ideas are not always the best, there may be better ideas than yours, and this doesn't make you less than anyone else because one day you may have a better idea than anyone else's. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who has smarter ideas, it matters who thinks, who has ideas, who does it, who acts in something, who does something. So my brothers, shall we work? Shall we move? Let's do something. Gaia needs your support. Realize something very important. Each one of you who gets involved, for something in favor of Gaia, brings a little more balance to her, because she begins to realize that that point there, is a point that is balancing, it's a point where she no longer needs to worry, because you are acting. Now when you do nothing, how is Gaia going to balance it all? Her way. Gaia has rougher ways of balancing herself, since you don't do anything. She balances herself the way she knows how, rummaging through everything. And then you cry. Because there is no way Gaia, as big as she is, can do anything very sweet, very soft. Sometimes it is even mild, sometimes it is even very mild, but when she gets angry, she has no one to hold her back, because she doesn't see your actions, she doesn't see anything that is trying to change all of this. Then many will say, but we are very small. Who are we before Gaia? I agree. You are a grain of sand on the entire surface of Gaia. But if no one does anything, nothing will happen. Now if everyone does something, and the idea spreads, realize how much you can do. Maybe it's not much, but it's something. It's already something. Act effectively. Don't just focus on the intention. Don't just think about it. Ah, I have to. Yes, you've been saying that for years. I have to do. I have to do. And what did you do? Anything. How did those who are already doing something today start? What do you think, that they started out big? No. They started small. It was from the idea of, 1. That everything was formed and today it is immense. So you are capable. You just want it. Tomorrow I will continue talking about Gaia, because there is still a lot to talk about. But think about it. Ask this question, what am I actually doing for Gaia? Because small, everyday actions are more than your obligation to think about the future. It's the same thing I said and have already said here, in relation to this love for animals, this is no exception, this has to be the rule. Everyone must love and respect animals, those who love are no exception, nor are they doing anything extraordinary. It's doing what should be done. So think about what actions you are actually doing in favor of Gaia. I am Archangel Michael. And I have tried to bring you subjects that make you think, and most importantly, make you evolve, literally.